This tutorial assumes you have a basic working knowledge of PyCharm. For this tutorial, you may use PyCharm Community Edition. Let us begin. We start with making a new project. I call it My Add-on. This project uses a poetry environment that is based on Python 3.9. The next thing we will do in observance of the project structure we will be using is create our runonki.py file. This enables us to run Anki from within PyCharm. You will copy and paste the code as demonstrated. After we've created our runonki.py file, we will create a runtime configuration for it. If you right-click the file from within the project pane and select Modify Run Configuration, most parts of the configuration that you need will already be preset for you. The only thing we'll want to do is set the parameter P. This represents the startup profile you'll automatically load when you start Anki from within PyCharm. If your profile has spaces in it, you'll want to enclose the name of your profile between quote marks. In this example, I use an Anki profile called temp, which is in all lowercase, to reflect the already and pre-existing profile that I have in Anki, which too is in all lowercase. Now, Observing the project structure we have implemented, we are going to add the SRC folder into the root project folder. This folder will hold another folder that will have a duplicate name as the root project folder. This child folder will hold the actual files of the plugin itself, while the root folder is simply a container that holds not only this folder, but all other additional files needed or used to help develop a plugin for Anki within PyCharm. These other files are for the developer use only and will not be sent to Anki's plugin folder or uploaded for the end user. Anki plugins look for the underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py file in the add-ons root folder. We will make our plugin based on the example on the Yankee website. We will copy and paste the code into the plugin initiation file. Now that our plugin is ready, we have a few things to wrap up before Anki is ready to take off from within PyCharm. We are going to use the Python console to paste the sub-processes that will bring all the required Anki packages and dependencies into our project. Since I've already completed this process beforehand, you will see a different message. However, the process will be the same. Great, we're now ready to run Anki for the first time within this project. But wait, notice that the add-on does not yet appear there. We're gonna fix that by creating a symbolic link to the add-on within Anki's add-on folder. This will allow Anki to access the add-on without the add-on having to actually be in the folder. On a Mac computer, the alias will look like a regular alias. However, the way that it works is systematically different and will be created using a different process than what you may be used to. To create our link, we are also going to need to copy the path of our add-on. It will not be the path of the direct root folder. Remember, it is the path of the My Add-on folder within the SRC folder, which is in the PyCharm project root folder, which has the same base name, My Add-on. Just follow along as shown. Now that we have both paths, the path of Anki's Add-on folder and the direct path of our Add-on, 
We are ready to make our symbolic link. Using the display template as a model, we are going to construct the symbolic link and use the internal terminal within PyCharm to create that link. Remember, if your path contains any spaces, to always enclose the path between quotes. Go ahead and copy and paste the command into the terminal without giving it too much thought of how it looks and then press enter. As you can see, the symbolic link has now appeared in Anki's add-on folder. Now let's see if our add-on will show up even though it's only symbolically linked but not actually there. Since we are both able to run Anki within Python and our add-on shows up in Anki after being symbolically linked to the add-on folder, we now know that we have successfully set up a development environment to create a plugin for Anki. If you would like to explore the environment in more detail, you can revisit the pages I use for the tutorial and follow additional instructions if desired. Have a great day.